by locals today and uh, it's been pretty much successfully I've won I think two or three of those and I, li I like to play it, it's a Dragon Link deck and uh, yeah, let's let's get into it. Of course we play three Tracer, three small red eyes, three Cypher, three Nocturus Dragon, does your insane stars, of course this is not a starter in itself but this is a good card. So if you see one of these nine, you're good to go. I'm not playing the FTK. I played it for a while, but I just didn't like it. I I always do the Pisco, and uh, I don't like it. Red MD, small dragons, which are broken as shit. The Rose dragons, I like those just because your normal summon does Herald and everything in one. If you cut these, it doesn't do that much on its own. It only needs some more, ex more extenders. And I'm playing some more rockets. Three of those. This one comes up to summon uh, red eyes back at some point. Uh, it's 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 nice to have, and you need two two level level fours to go into savage, in the simplified game. So some weird thing. Absolute to search tracer, of course. Broad power and the Olivia near for regular dragon stuff. Phalanx because it's just plus as fuck. This is a good card. And the Buster Sword, which is the combo, of course. And uh, yeah, the. It's basically if you see a normal summon, also these are good. There's an extender too. Yeah, it's it's nice. I'm playing nine hand traps in the main, which is I'm playing playing 44 card, uh, 48 cards, which is like 60 percent somewhat I think, like six, 50, 50, 50, 56 or something. And uh, yeah, it's not. These are the best ones at the moment. Um, it's debatable to play the Ash going forward with the Numeron deck, but we'll have to see and test. And the Nibiru also. But, Imperm is standard, I think. It's, it's a little bit weird with the uh, Imperm over Veiler now, but you have to play the Imperm because of the Numeron stuff, but it's not a target. The Veiler was always nice to have as a target for the Chaos Space, to search your Levian here, which was a nice, nice feature of the Veiler, but yeah, you have to make some cuts. Uh, of course, free Chaos Space, it's busted as shit, but I'm, <laughs> I think I saw it once since I stopped playing the FTK for whatever reason. Three Quick Start, uh, three, three quick, quick Launch. OPS shit and the guard dragon also very good it plays through the Nibiru like easily the dragon ravine boot sector lands reborn one for one the power spells and the field spells of course yeah. uh, the main deck has been working very well for me and you the only option that you cannot play is if you don't draw a normal summon which is aside some more hand traps and uh, then you lose the hands when you draw like four hand traps and no normal summon, then you lose. But I have to test more on that further. X-Rex is pretty standard. Metal Metal Marcher, Herald, Savage, good thing, they're good synchros. Two striker dragon for a combo, LP, uh, PC LP, Link Cross, Needle Fiber, Ramulus, Union Carrier, Sphere, uh, Destruction Sword, Link LP away, Aura Sword, Apple Apple which is, you can go second with this extra deck, with the Savage and the Boros Sword, and you have some beaters more than the FTK, which I like, and the Appaloosa, of course, saves you more, and um, and the Spheres for simplified games is, is just nuts. Your opponent, Nibiru's or whatever, and you have one or two summons, and you just go, ah, oh, fuck it, go Destruction Sword, summon another baby, go Sphere, pass, and if your opponent throws four hand traps at you, Sphere is good enough to stop their turn. So, I like that. And the side deck, I've tested the Gnome material today because it's an out against the Numeron, uh, against the Numeron combo, which is a feature. But I need more hand traps because it's rel rel relatively combo heavy at our locals. So I also play the Gamma and the Driver, and uh, I like those today. The Gnome is of course insane against uh, combo decks, and it has this the feature against Numeron. But I have to test if that's worth it. We'll we'll, we'll see. We're going second boss, Pankatrops. Free Cyclone and Free Lightning and the Reboot, which is nuts. And I have to think about the Cosmics because um, it's not as worth it to have the Cosmics over the Twins against the uh, Eldritch at this moment because there are many people who are they're not, not as much floodgates around any, any, anymore, more like chainable back row, like TT or whatever. And uh, then the Cyclone doesn't hit them as easily as they hit the. Uh, uh, floodgates and the Eldritch traps, and uh, maybe uh, Twin Twist is the better way next time, but I'll have to see.
yeah, that's it. And uh, yeah, shout out to the, to the team, of, of course, with their social media. And yeah, have a good weekend. Bye bye. Uh -huh.